This is the untold story of the Long Island serial killer investigation. Everything you think you know is wrong. Uh, Alexis, Billy, good morning from Las Vegas. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, Jeff. Thank you for joining me today to talk about your new series on Discovery Plus. Uh, Billy, uh, 11 bodies found on Long Island. Uh, you know, as a native, did these murders just turn Long Island upside down? You know what? Unfortunately for me, Long Island has been like that. Uh, I grew up there. My father would tell me true crime stories starting when I was five years old. So uh, the idea that there was, and there was a serial killer, actually, Joel Rifkin, that was right in my backyard, right in my same hometown. So the idea that, it, you know, for me, it wasn't like it was this beautiful place and I can't believe that there's 11 bodies. I knew it was a pretty messed up place. Uh, the home of Billy Joel, how could something like that happen, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, and Alexis, as a true crime documentary producer, your mission is to search for the truth, even if it leads to the chief of police of Long Island? Yeah, unfortunately, in, in this case, it did. But yes, in true crime storytelling, really, we just wanted to get to the heart of whatever was stymieing this case. And I think we ultimately did in this in the series. And Billy, as a, a true crime journalist for over 20 years, have you ever suspected uh, a cover up or corruption like this before? I mean, this is on an epic scale. Not at this scope, no. I mean, we've seen, we've seen serial killers who have been in law enforcement before. And we're not saying that James Burke is the person who is behind everything, but we, we do have firm proof that he pretty much halted the investigation. He, he ground it to a halt. One of the ways is by kicking up the FBI. Who does that? Who kicks out the FBI when you're trying to uh, find a serial killer? And Alexis, says, uh, did you find many roadblocks? I mean, because did people want to talk or did they shy away or did you get a mixture of both? We got a mixture of both. Some people feel more emboldened to talk now that the two most powerful sort of corrupt individuals are no longer in power, but some still definitely fear retribution of these individuals. So we we had a mix, we had a mixture of both, really. Some eager to talk and some terrified to talk still. And also there's a companion Apple podcast series as well. Yeah, so we have a seven-part uh, podcast and a two-hour special that is streaming on Discovery+. Plus. Excellent. And, and Billy, does this series finally give some answers after a decade of, of, of mystery and, and unanswered questions? There are a lot of, of questions that are answered. Um, the one thing that we still don't know is we still don't have definitive proof on who the killer or killers are, but it's moving the ball forward. Well, and this series really explains why we don't have answers at this point. And I'm sure that your, one of your goals is too, to give closure to these families of the victims. I mean, they just must be for the last decade. I mean, I mean, Long Island's a small community. Think about it, right? Absolutely. And we feel the victims' families are still just in immense pain to not have answers and then also feel betrayed by the law enforcement officials who are tasked with solving the case. I can't imagine what they've been through. And, They've been our focus with this entire project. Well, Alexis, Billy, congratulations on the series. Uh, you're doing great work. And uh, thank you for joining me today. And uh, come visit us in Las Vegas when you have a chance. We'd love to have you. We'd love to. Thanks, love Jeff. To Thanks, Jeff.